Welcome in everyone. We are back with a real live old-fashioned jewelry jar in a jar. This is very unusual these days. They usually come in bags, but I'm glad you're here either way. Whatever we have, we're so excited when we do find them. These are total mysteries. This one did not come from the Goodwill and it has a pretty reasonable price on it. So I could not resist it. This one was $24.92. So great price on that. And we're going to get started very shortly. Welcome to my channel. I'm so glad you're here. We do a jewelry hunting here. So I hope that is your cup of tea. If it is, you have arrived at the right channel. I think you will enjoy it here. We often find trash as well as treasure and treasure always seems to bring me back. So that's what we're here for. Welcome again. I hope you enjoy the video. Let's get started. Don't even need scissors for this. They didn't even use tape. They just kind of saran wrapped it. So I get I actually did find two that day. The other one was a little bit cheaper and smaller. I think it was $18. Let me pour out a few things. Now I have been lucky to find some good things from these from this particular thrift store in the counters. But I um and I think I found, actually, I do have a video from them. I'll try to link it. It's actually entitled The Biggest Jewelry Jar in the World. And the guy actually fixed it up for me when we asked for it. So when we asked them for one. So let's get started and let's just see what's in here. Again, expectations are low. Price is low. So it should be a win-win. Let's see what is in here. And start with this often maligned <laughs> tassel necklace. Well, they had the decency to wrap the tassels so they didn't get all messed up. I did get a phone call and it was FaceTime with the grandkids so I had to drop everything. We were in the middle of looking at the tassel. <laughs> all right, I see some tiger eye. That's always nice. And these are, I guess, a bundle of stretch bracelets. Yeah, they are. They're bundled up. And I guess you can just keep them together with the ribbon, but you don't necessarily need to wear the ribbon. So there they are there. And these can also be used for crafting. People make jewelry out of these as well, earrings and whatnot. I love these actually. This one's nicely done too. The little bead is uh, kind of a mother of pearl mosaic there. And then we have a, oh cute, we have a lion and an elephant and a rhino. Oh, very nice. This is really done nicely. A little vintage barrel clasp there. So that's pretty. I like that. That's very nice. I really like the addition of these mother of pearl beads. That is cute. And what is this? Is this, uh, what is that movie, Rock and Roll High or something? I forget. <laughs> that's kind of a cute bracelet, actually. If you like skulls. I forget the name of this. Merch. Very interesting. And then we have teacher. Looks like it said teacher and they put it backwards. You can actually, <laughs> there it goes. <laughs> Kindergarten teacher. Oh, that's so cute. Yeah, there it goes. It's so funny. You can't read it if it's upside down. Oh, wow. Oh, that is cute. It's got an apple. It's got love. There it is. And this is Charming Charlie's, I think. Yeah. Just a long beaded black. This is in really good condition. Necklace. It is acrylic. Gold beads on it as well. And here's some more 
would these these look like a souvenir from a tourist shop or something all right we got the requisite statement necklace and this one's really messed up missing pieces some wear on some of these we'll put that in a crafter lot someone can make earrings out of that or something all right here we have a some kind of a stretch bracelet i'm not sure how i feel about that seems a little awkward i don't really like this at the bottom and i don't really like this at the top like it seems to fit weird and these are acrylic beautiful color on these i have a giant bowl of stretch bracelets unbelievable some of them are fantastic this is a very pretty color though i do like that very pretty then this one interesting how does this go looks like it's messed up here no here it goes <laughs> all right it might just need to be cleaned i don't know there they go they all slide there it might just need a cleaning out right there because only this little corner is dirty it might respond to a cleaning or it might just get completely ruined i don't know oh my gosh these are those horrific going in the trash immediately these were made for teething so moms would wear them and babies would teeth and gnaw on these and they are disgusting this actually looked pretty decent. Little statement still tagged. Where's this? Some kind of faux leather, heavy beads. I wouldn't mind having that as a bracelet. That's kind of cute, but I don't know about having it draped down on a long necklace like that. Then it actually has a little tie there. This looks like a Napier piece. Napier used to do so much with beads. This is navy. Blue beads. I'll put that in my bead lot. And these are acrylic green and blue it's kind of pretty i'll clean that up that is pretty that'll look pretty with a little layering they are all acrylic and they're kind of a slate blue olive green color good condition on that and it wouldn't look bad double it's not bad Another little shell necklace. These are acrylic, these are wood, some kind of base metal. And there it is there, kind of a boho. Yeah. another statement necklace we like this though kind of reminds me of a little chemical chemistry illustration or something <laughs> and that has no maker on it and well this is pretty very nice condition very lightweight interesting metal in that great condition now and some of them are kind of crinkly and then some are high polished another statement necklace this one's actually pretty reminds me of that opal and garnet ring i found the other day that's missing a garnet it's actually really pretty i like that I like the colors on this one. A faux leather blingy 
kid jewelry. Oh my gosh. Some little Mardi Gras beads. These are just cheap little plastic kind of glued together there. Let's keep pouring. Let's see what else pops out. Oh, we got a brooch. I hope it's a nice one. A traffic jam there. Thing about the jars you do have some trouble getting them out don't you oh my goodness and it looks like it might run into some wires some of those nylon illusion necklaces that we love and hate so much no i just hate them i just some of them i do like the way they look on but they are such a Troublemaker here in the jar. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay. That was a nice, nice big jar. Oh, this is pretty too. I like this. And I like this brooch too. Oh my goodness. This brooch needs a cleaning, and this, I hope, is gold. I don't know what it says. I don't care if it's broken, but it'd be nice if it was gold. Um, let me see if I can get this out of here. Now. This may be able to get cleaned. I can't tell if that's gunk or discoloration. What a beautiful brooch that is, though. And it actually looks like it's... I don't know if... Oh, it's broken completely. <laughs> I'm like, it looks like it's missing a piece. Okay, it's missing the entire pin. So that would have to be some kind of a crafter. Some people actually know how to fix these. So I don't know. I may clean that up. And I was trying to take this little thing out. What does this even say? Marin, mermaid. It says mermaid. Okay, I'm going to hope this thing is gold. It looks like it says mermaid. Let's dig in here and find out what this is. Okay, where'd it go? Oh my goodness, no, I lost it. Here it is. I hope there's some good stuff in here because that is a big knot and I just lost the gold one I was looking at. And there's a lot of broken ones. This is just a multi metal bracelet that's broken. And another bracelet stretch. That one needs cleaning, I can feel. Okay, what happened to that chain? I need that chain. <gasps> I just had it a minute ago. And now it's gone, that's crazy. It's here somewhere. Interesting, it's a mess. This... Oh my gosh, I am so glad this one is recorded. We can get some of this edited. All right, this one came out. Let me see now. I believe it is sterling. It's not marked. This is interesting too. Oh my goodness. Here's another version. Wow, wow. Oh my goodness gracious. Wow, look at that. That's an interesting earring. I love it. Fleur de -lis. Hope we have the other one. But it feels heavy. I don't think it's gold though. It's just a very nice very nice chain. No marking. It doesn't appear to be gold. Yeah. Very nice color on it, actually. It even looks like the color of gold. But I am going to test it anyway. Because sometimes, even though it's not marked on the jump ring, they could have replaced the jump ring. 
Many people do their own repairs. They don't even bother to go to the jewelers sometimes. And they'll just fix things up themselves. Here are some glasses for specs. Just a little gold chain there. It's also broken. I lost that other chain completely. don't know what happened to it. Isn't it interesting? Boy, this is a knot. I'm going to turn off the camera for a little while and work on this. the video so I could take out some of these tangles. And um, I actually had to bring the scissors out because there was a big, there still is this humongous knot here. But this, I went ahead and took the scissors to it. It was actually just a little hairband from Claire's. And um, I even took this apart because this was tangled up with something else. So there's a jump ring missing there. But I guess I'll put that in a crafter lot take out the cord completely. I did take apart the mermaid chain. Here it is here. It actually says mermaid on it and I thought it was gold, but it's gold filled. It is marked on the on the jump ring. And the jump ring is up in the front and that one is gold filled. And then I got one earring here. Got a couple of earrings, singles. I've got this little kind of very lightweight acrylic drop and then I actually had to, to cut off a, the tip of the knot here because it was tangled up too and this is what was in that. I think it's really attractive though. Some kind of um, abstract designs. Really pretty and I actually love these beads right here these long ones. I think those would make some beautiful earrings. Then I had to cut the scapular as well. A little Catholic icon here because that was tangled up in a mess. I found this. This is actually kind of nice. It's genuine leather and it's just kind of um, silvery color with some little grommets there and pretty nice, pretty nice. Pin here, Texas Ranger. A very worn and broken necklace with some stars. That, I'm going to go ahead and pause the video again as I make my way through this mess because I may have to cut this and I hate to do it, but all of the necklaces are tangled up in there. I'm going to try really hard to take most of them out and then... Um, not have to cut up the chain. There's already one that was cut up in here. I don't know where this came from. I guess it was part of this. This must have been a some kind of a necklace here. All right, I'm still going at it. What I've found so far, there's been a lot of broken jewelry. Kind of figured that when I saw it at the price that it was. This is really interesting though. I hope we can find the the rest of those tassels because this would look nice on a on a chain if we could find that other tassel there but that's broken this is broken I don't know what it was a long variegated chain it's about I don't know 60 inches long and it has everything from darkened metal to silver but I'm just going to put that in a crafter lot and then this one was nice. It's got some genuine stones, black coral on these, but I don't know, they could be, they could be um, onyx as well. Just intrigued by this one that's a little bit more on the lighter side and then the rest of them are a little darker. And then it's just uh, kind of pinched off there and a little silver tone. Some some genuine stones there. The single earrings uh, still. So I don't know what they were going to do with this. Just a single one. So pretty much that's what we have found so far. I'm still trying to work my way to try to get everything out. You know, here is one necklace that's loose. And then just keep coming back. <laughs> this is so crazy. <laughs> This is such an interesting piece. It looks like a stone, but it's just acrylic. And I guess it's a drawstring. Kind of a drawstring on there, I guess. I'm not sure. Long, very interesting. That might not be a bad 
lucky necklace if I get it cleaned up. I don't know. It's very, very interesting. It reminds me of something edible. I don't know why. It looks like some kind of a candy or something. Oh, then this volcan... Volcan... My hands are filthy already. Vol... Volcanic? Volcanic rock? I guess you could dip it in some essential oils or something. I keep thinking of Miley Cyrus Wrecking Ball when I look at this. But, uh, yeah, some kind of all volcanic rock pendant was also there. Actually, very pretty little glass beads. A little strand of that. I think I showed you this broken one that I thought might have been uh, real gold, but I'm going to test it because there is no mark on it. So let's pause again and keep working on this, and I will... Come right, guys, back. boy, that took about two hours, and I didn't even finish. This is a mess of a mess of a mess. Look at my hands. This one has, like, gunk on it, so I'm just going to... It's got, like, I don't know, glue or something. I'm just going to give up on this. Obviously, it's a long kind of illusion thing on this black one. I had that kind of loose and then it got tingled up. There it is right there. But I will show you what I did get. This is all of what I've got and I will tell you that I will never shop for that jar for jars at that place again. I mostly just do uh, the counter. I still have another small one but I did manage to get everything out of this without having to take the scissors to this mess. Look at that. Can you imagine trying to entangle that? Oh my gosh. There's no way you could entangle that. Well, my husband probably could do it. But I'm gonna just throw that in a beadlock because there's some seed beads in there that someone can possibly use. One piece of sterling. I was hoping it was uh, James Avery or something, but it's a little, it's a little cuff bracelet. And it is marked there, so that was nice. And I think it has the initial L. So it's just a little kind of a kind of a bracelet there. I guess you could squeeze it in. Kind of cute actually. It'll probably look very nice polished up. It's very tarnished. There it is. Yeah, and then there's just a dot right there, and it says 925 on that side right there. This was really interesting. Kind of looks like it's ivory, but it's not. I don't know. I don't think it's ivory. I think it's kind of an imitation. It's on a brass chain. Two of these. These reminded me of some that I had from a... I forgot the name of the designer, but they were really pretty. They're very heavy and weighty. Little pendulum chains, those were in there. I did get some vintage Napier articulated or dangle hoops that are in excellent condition. So these were nice, very, very nice condition. And this tension clip is, God, look at these now. <laughs> I mean, I worked on those tangles for a good two hours and these are in amazing condition. So this wound up getting broken because it was pretty tangled up in those earrings. This is a this is uh, like a little layered chain, just a costume piece. Two layers there. Well, I thought this was at least a crystal, but it's not. It just looks like it. It's pretty though. A lot of these little serpentine 70s looking chains. Some of them are in very good condition now. So those are nice. Two three or four of those. Some of them are in better condition than others. Boy, that was a lot of work to get those tangled out though. Really, really. This is just a little kid's, I don't know, pony necklace or something. I can't quite tell if that's a dinosaur or what. And then this cross was missing some stones and it's just a costume piece. Missing some stones though, but I may save that for harvesting because some of those look pretty nice. Some of those, I wish I would have found some of these earrings. This one is very nice. It might be in the other jar. And I did get a nice 1928, not the vintage that I like to collect. This is more from the, anything that has the lobster claw 
is after the period that I collected, which is 80s, 70s through the early 80s. But this is a beautiful one. It really is pretty. It's nice crystal beads on it, kind of blue with a little bit of a drop there, a little tassel, a little, really nice rhinestone as well. So that was nice. That's a nice 1928 piece there. This probably cost the entire price of the, of the jar, so I like that. So the best thing for the $25 that I paid, I believe, were the Napier beautiful classic dangle hoops in this wonderful 1928 piece. I do love that. That is very pretty. Nice little crystal on that too. And I love the black and I love blue. And of course the um, very nice little monogrammed bangle cuff in sterling silver and the gold filled mermaid barb necklace and it is really tiny it's like a 14 inch chain not sure what that was supposed to be but it is gold filled it would make a nice anklet if you adjusted it yeah i believe this is glass oh man made it's supposed to look like a stone i guess but it's just a gold glass sure glad i didn't pay much for that jar were a lot of broken things. Oh, I did get the tiger eye too. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, let me know if you liked the way I did this this particular video. I didn't show you too many of the tangles. I kind of spared you that frustration. Or uh, if you prefer to see a little bit more of the tangles. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so. Please consider joining the channel as a member to support the content here. Of course, always check out my description boxes where you can find my contact information if you ever see anything in a haul that you would be interested in that also i do auctions at facebook every saturday so please look into that as well all the details are in the description box and i will see you very soon have a wonderful and blessed day bye bye